Hey guys, welcome back to The Game Replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy XIII 2 Demo. Just downloaded this today. The date is January 10th, 2012. Got this demo free off of the uh, PlayStation Network store. Good stuff. Here's the title screen. Playable demo. But before I talk about anything, I'm going to the settings because I want to do some camera adjusting. I like to go with the inverted Y axis. And we can check out the other stuff here. You got the brightness, magnify font. Oof. All right, subtitles are on, all this stuff's on. That's good stuff. I really don't mess around I really don't mess around with too much shit. All right, so here we go. Let's check out the playable demo here. I'm sure they're going to pop us into the game at some point in the beginning. You know, I'm sure it's not going to be too crazy, you know, no spoilers, anything like that. It'll probably be like a cutscene or two, uh, some battles, maybe tutorials. That'll help us, you know, learn how to play the game before the game really comes out. All right, new save data is required to play the Final Fantasy 13 playable demo. Okay, that's fine. We'll just save this here. All righty. And this will help me and people like me shake off the Final Fantasy 13 rust as it's been a while since I've played that style. Final Fantasy 13 2 automatically save your progress. When autosaving, the save icon will appear in the upper left corner of the screen. Do not turn off the power while the save icon is being displayed. Fine. Oh, there's the old loading screen. Now loading. Looks pretty similar. All right, so let's begin this. This could get crazy. What are we going to see on this demo here? When reaching for the future, we sometimes fall into the past as we gaze upon events that cannot be changed. Our hearts grow bitter with regret. And you, my dear Sarah, will you encounter your past here? How will you choose to deal with that pain? Sure. Yeah, check it out. You can see the ground above us. Oh, wow. So this is how Cocoon looks from the inside. That's right, I forgot. This is your first time here. Yep. Man, and it's battle time right off the bat here. Paradigm Shift Tutorial. Ah, oh, I remember these. So we can learn about the Paradigm Shift system. Well, if it's anything like 13, I pretty much got it down. The battle system looks pretty similar, but I'm going to take the tutorial anyway here so we can learn a little little bit about this game. Welcome to the world of Final Fantasy 13 2 In Final Fantasy 13 2 you defeat enemies by directing the actions of the characters. Characters perform abilities in battle by expending segments of the ATB gauge. The abilities they use are decided by selecting commands such as auto battle. An effective method for directing the characters' actions is to use a paradigm shift to change their battle strategy. So we can press the L1 button to perform a paradigm shift. 
Each character's role defines how they will act in battle. The various role combinations are known as paradigms. Your currently paradigm is Double Trouble X, a strategy that makes each ally focus on their own target. To boost your chain bonus and stagger a single target's Use Slash and Burn to reduce incoming damage to reduce incoming damage from powerful attacks. Try switching to Twin Shields. Now on to victory. Okay. So we're on Double Trouble X. Slash and Burn, War and Peace. Yeah, it's got the uh, combinations. Commando Commando, Commando Ravager, Commando Medic. You know, you do the Sentinel thing. Alright, let's go Commando Ravager. I'll do what I want, you know, I... If I beat the enemy, I beat the enemy. That's fine. Let me leave me alone. This is a this is the demo. Let me do what I want to do. Stop bothering me. So anyway, we're in the battle here. I can talk for a couple minutes, I suppose. A giant arm from an invisible monster crystal kind of thing is attacking us and it's swiping its arm at us and it's hurting us and we got our characters here. We have Noel uh, or Noel. I believe they pronounce his name Noel in the Japanese version. And we have Sarah, that's Lightning's sister from Final Fantasy XIII. We didn't see her too much in the previous game. Yeah, in this game, she's a main character. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's concentrate a little bit here on the battle. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. You can stagger it. There's the targets, you know, HP gauge. You know, I'm in yellow right now. I'm blinking yellow because I'm not, not in trouble, but, you know, you want to be cautious and pay attention. I didn't expect that. Okay, so we have some in-game stuff to do. You know, follow the directions, push this button, tap that, you know, make that go this way, that way. That'll probably help us out. Looks like I caught that pretty fast. Ouch! Ouch! Are you okay? Yeah. Giant. That's complete bullshit, I hit the X button. But anyway, we can see what happens if you succeed and fail, so hey, that's fine. That's fine. Let's talk about these uh, characters here. Sarah looks like Sarah, pretty much, I guess, from the uh, the last game, I suppose. She doesn't seem to be uh, changed much. And then we got this guy, Noel. Uh, I, I don't know, like, it kind of looks like a character from, uh, those Kingdom Hearts games, and I've never, ever played one of those games, actually. But I have seen pictures, I've seen, like, box art covers, that kind of thing. He looks like one of those characters. I don't know, I think it's the outfit. Is it just me? I don't know, I don't know about this, dude. But then again, when it comes to Final Fantasy XIII characters, I mean, like, you gotta pick one, you know, as your favorite. Like, they're all kind of bad, but, like, which one is the least bad? <laughs> That's what I think, anyway. Okay, so, oh, let's stick around for a little more medic here. I bet if I was successful with that attack, I would have had his ass staggering. It looks like he's 80% gone here. Mr. Arm! Hello, Mr. Arm! By the way, like, a couple minutes ago, this arm, like, smashed this Knoll guy, like, in the face, and he's fine. You know, threw him against the wall. Oh, okay. Well, remember, this is Final Fantasy. They have, like, crazy, uh, you know, endurance and life energy. You know, they're like, they're all like supermen, basically. They're all superhuman, they have superhuman strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's finish this guy off now. A couple more. You can always pause at two attacks there. Yeah, the same as the uh, predecessor.
And Buka! Battle's over, just like Final Fantasy 13. They give you all the stats, the target time, the battle duration, the scoring. You know, let's see if we'll get an item. Yeah, we got a Phoenix down. Good stuff. You know, had I not been successful with tapping that button, you know, that many times, would I have defeated the monster? What would have happened if I failed? I don't know. Okay, anyway, more cutscenes. All right. The story so far, Final Fantasy XIII 2. After battling a huge arm, Sarah and Noel explore the Brescia ruins for a way to defeat the limb's fully manifested form, the giant Atlas. To learn more about the basic controls and other aspects of the game world, access the main menu with triangle and select data log. We hope you enjoy Final Fantasy XIII du playable demo. Gotta track down Atlas. Here we are in the Brescia ruins here. Good stuff. Ah. Whoa. Let's not get too close to that crotch shot. Controls are nice. Everything's flowing nicely for me here. Uh, by the way, there's a Moogle. I read up on this. You know, this is Mog, and I think Mog's gonna be helping us out on our way. He can be doing various things. Let's check out some of the people here. We here at the Academy have a great responsibility. With the foul sea gone, people rely on us to protect humanity. <laughs> Did you see how Sarah backed away? I think I think she was afraid of this guy. She like backed away. What is going on? What is she doing by is she catching the rain? Yeah, it's called rain. You ever hear that? You know what rain is? We need to develop our technology in order to maintain cocoon. That's why the Academy has been vested with so much authority, for the purpose of research, and we take that responsibility seriously. I have no idea what he's talking about right now. Does anybody care? I don't know. It's putting me to sleep. Who? It's putting me to sleep. Who is this guy? I can tell you this. The Academy respects ability and potential. If you have what it takes, they'll appoint you leader, regardless of your age. I kind of wish I could, uh, move the camera angle when I'm talking to uh, semi-important people. But I can't. The Academy have a great responsibility. With the foul sea gone, people rely on us to protect humanity. Can't do it. Oh, we got some stairs here. Your ID checks out. Be careful with that. We thought we were dealing with your average ruined city until they dug up that gigantic hand. Oh man, I'm having flashbacks. Pulse, cocoon. And all the crazy mumbo jumbo. Good lordy, there was so much of it. Five years ago, the Sanctum ordered the purge and drove people out of their homes. A lot of them escaped and fled. They hid in these ruins, hoping to survive. It breaks my heart to think of the blood shed by civilians here five years ago. How many people did uh, Lightning and her band of merry men kill back in the day? You know, Jesus. I'm constantly on edge, because I don't know where those tears will appear next. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with anything about this game, yeah, I believe I have very little info on the game myself, but I think there's some sort of uh, kind of time travel that's uh, working its way through this game. It'll be interesting to come across that as we play. I don't know if we're going to be jumping through any, you know, Chrono Trigger portals right now in this demo. Alright, press O to jump. Try jumping over objects, blocking your path. Okay. The gear we're using is old, but with Cocoon in its current state, there's not much we can do. We are able to maintain our own gear on the front lines, though, and we're familiar with the equipment. Ammo, check! Mobility, check! <laughs> Who the hell is this? It's a half chocobo, half... Woman, I think. I hear they're building tractors and weapon factories because industrial production is lacking. 
Choco Bucalina! Welcome, get your traveling products here at Chocolina's Emporium. The beauty's all mine, but the products can be yours, but only if you show me the money. This might be a once-in-a-lifetime Choco-amazing opportunity, so don't miss out. I've never seen anyone like you before. Who are you? And what do you have for sale? I thought you'd never ask. Chocolina is a mysterious traveling merchant who appears all along the timeline. She offers a variety of items to aid travelers, with the right components and a crafter's fee. Chocolina can even create special weapons and equipment. When browsing the shop menu for items, be sure you have the required components as well as sufficient amount of gill. If you got the cash, she's got the product. That's what she said. Equipping accessories will enhance a character's attributes. Press the triangle to access the main menu and select equipment to equip or change accessories. It is possible to equip more than one accessory, but be mindful of each item's equipment cost. If the combined cost exceeds a character's accessory capacity, you will have to rethink your accessory choices. As you develop a character, their accessory capacity will increase, allowing you to wear a more expensive combination of items. Alright, so it's kind of similar to the first one, but a little tweaked, and... Okay, we'll figure it out. Oh, so since this is a demo, I don't think they're going to give me a lot of gill, and they don't. 150 gill here. Can't really buy... I can buy a couple of those items, but eh, I don't... I don't know what I should buy here. Uh, can't buy any of these. Come on, man. Maybe I have stuff to sell. They gave me a lot of Phoenix Downs, didn't they? Well, I guess they want to make sure we can be able to survive. What if I sell a couple of these and maybe I can buy some weapons? I mean, hell, that's a lot. How many did I have? 20, 21 there? Okay, let's sell like half. There we go, now I got some money. I'll keep those potions. Maybe we can sell components if we have, but we don't have any. Accessories, weapons, we have the couple that we have equipped to ourselves. Okay. Buy. Now let's buy. We got some weapons. We can upgrade our weapons. Hmm. Pretty expensive, though. Let's check out the accessories. Here we go. Okay, Iron Bengal... Black Bell, you know, all the basic same shit here. HP plus 10. Resistment. We got some resisting stuff. Okay. Get a couple of, couple of things here. You know, I'm not really too sure how long this demo is going to be anyway. Oop, no, I don't want nine. I guess I'll only buy four. Buy another one of these. Okay. You know, I do have plenty enough for weapons. Maybe I'll just buy weapons too. It's gonna increase me. One for each. All right, let's do it. Oop. Got to readjust to the uh, control system here. Special. Wonder if I need any of these. Might as well buy buy two, just in case. You never know what I'm gonna encounter in this thing. So we got some greens, we got some accessories, some weapons. Have a fantabulous day. Thanks. She is a weird one. You know, it's kinda like uh this is Final Fantasy 13-2's Awaka of the game, you know, Awaka from Final Fantasy X. That guy would follow us along our journey. And it looks like we have something similar here in this game. Have you seen that big old giant? Where'd he come from? Someone sure wasted their time and hard-earned money making something that big. I don't like seeing materials go to waste like that, but hey, what can I do? I can open up my shop! That's what I can do! Shameless. Absolutely shameless. I was wondering if she was going to say something else. You know I'm counting on you. Everyone is! If it's the giant you want to take down, then take a look around. <laughs> you know I'm counting on you. Everyone is! Oh, it's just sad. Okay, let's check out our menu here. Oh boy, look at all this crap. Good God. Gotta readjust to this. You know, certain things are probably gonna be tweaked a little bit. 
It's not the exact same setup of uh, Final Fantasy XIII 2, but it looks pretty damn close. Change leader. Look at this. All right, we can change our party leader. Let's try that out. Equipment. Okay. So, yeah, we got these. Oh, we can really do a, do a bunch of accessories. That's right. Well, let's give... Let's give them each an iron bangle. But yeah, we can't... Character's maximum accessory capacity exceeded. Item cannot be equipped. Yeah, I believe it was in uh, the first one, Final Fantasy XIII. We had to, uh... We had to move up on the Crystarium, I believe, to unlock more accessory slots. I think that's how it worked, yeah. And that's what they were kind of going over. Oh, let's not forget his weapon. Howling Soul! There you go, you Kingdom Hearts knockoff wannabe. Alright, what about this guy? You can improve his HP. We'll give him that. And I pretty much think he can't... Yeah, he can't learn any... Can't have anything else equipped. You can check out statuses. Pretty basic stuff here. Yeah, they know only the basics, as I uh, would think would be appropriate for this demo. We got our inventory data log. Let's look at the map. Holy lordy, this is the map. How much of this is going to be playable? Good God. I don't know. That's crazy. Go back into the settings. Oh, and of course we have our... Party Paradigms and the Crystarium. Let's check these things out. These are pretty important. Alright, we can customize. But, you know, we seem to have everything going pretty well here. Commandos, Ravager, Commando set here. I think we're fine. We don't need to do anything. We don't need to generate. Crystarium! Here we go! Okay, looking pretty similar. I wonder if I've already learned a couple things. Oh, I have to use the, uh the right analog stick to move this around. That's kind of weird. I'm pretty sure it was the left analog stick in the first one. That change is kind of weird. Yeah, it looks like I've learned a couple of abilities here as I'm, you know, going down the old Crystarium tree here. This is where I am. Next level. I got 100 points, 180 for next level. So do the math there on that one. Let's go to Knoll. Pretty much in the same boat here. Alright, can't really do much with this right now. Okay! We used to rely on the Fauci for food, energy, everything we needed. But now, they are all adorable. Okay, thanks a lot for that information, I'm Snow's voice actor. Power source. With all the foul sea dormant, Cocoon is suffering an energy shortage. We need to develop our technology in order to maintain Cocoon. That's why the Academy has been vested with so much authority, for the purpose of research. And we take that responsibility seriously. What the hell's written on this thing? What does that stuff say? I the rain can't tell. Artificial. It's the real thing. <laughs> Not artificial? I can tell you this. The Academy respects ability and potential. If you have what it takes, they'll appoint you leader, regardless of your age. That guy's really weird. Yeah, and some of the characters you can uh, talk to. What? The other characters you can kind of just pass by and they'll say a couple things. I always like to, uh, you know, see what all the non-playable characters say, regardless of how important or non-important they are. This person's standing alone. Oh, oh, don't put your hands up. Like, oh, my personal All space. All clear over there. Oh, oh, my personal space. Please don't get that close to me. Oh, oh. that's interesting. I don't want to go back to the Sanctum days, but I have to admit, things are pretty rough at the moment. When are things not rough? Although our gear is old, we have everything we need. We've salvaged a lot of the old Psycom weapons as well. Hmm. The Academy's top priority is finding an energy source to replace the Foul Sea. 
gonna try a couple of these other buttons, see what they do. The Academy are so picky. A lot of people even complain about how good their lives used to be. Can you believe it? Come on, Mark. Uh, it looks like hitting the R1 button does something. I'm pretty sure this is some sort of uh, searching tactic. I can activate it. Mog is searching for something. What the what? What, this creature? Ah, uh, thing's with me. Sarah continues to be absolutely amazed by the rain. Because it's real? What's in here? Uh, this is the uh, scary part of town. Everything is looking really shitty. Everything's always in ruins in this game, though. Okay, what's up here? There are similar growing options deep within the ruins. It's packed with monsters back there, though. Monsters appear suddenly near the growing objects. Although, this one seems pretty quiet right now. The growing objects appear at around the same time as the paradox. Scientists have studied this phenomenon causing all the weird stuff to appear. They're calling it the paradox. I don't do mud, it's disgusting! These characters will say a couple lines of dialogue and you can talk to them multiple times. Aren't you the smart one? Out of the rain, are you? So is this some sort of like portal thing? What's going on? It's a gate. Can we jump like through it? Nothing happens. I wonder if that's because of the demo or because of, you know, where we are in the story. We can't really, like, do anything with the gates. Hard to say. That probably has something to do with the story. Probably can't, you know, use those things right now. Oh, we got some more cash. You know, I just sold those Phoenix Downs for a buttload more of that cash than that, man. A lot of people just standing out in the rain. This guy is just standing here. What is his purpose? What is his point? Yeah, yeah, you're getting wet there. What's this on my sleeve? Oh, yeah. The rainwater's drenching me. This guy's a smart guy. Yeah, excuse you. What the hell is this thing? It's like a floating cube. It looks different from the uh, typical treasure spheres. I obtain a leaving gate seal. So can I leave the gate? That's what it says. That's worth a try, just because. I don't do mud, it's disgusting. Uh-huh. Kinda like how the rainwater's getting on our uh kinda like the camera, you know? You can just like see droplets. So nothing's happening. Ah. Who knows what the reason could be? I don't really care too much. So a lot of people, you know, in Final Fantasy XIII, a lot of people, including me, complained that the game was too goddamn linear, and there wasn't a lot of towns or, you know, a lot of people to interact with. There's a couple spots, but just not goddamn enough. Final Fantasy X was kind of a linear game too, but at least in that game there was plenty of towns, you know, plenty of people to talk to on the way. So this kind of may go the Final Fantasy X route. Shouldn't we stop the investigation? Where it could be linear, but it could be kind of like the Final Fantasy X linear style, rather than the 13 style where, ugh, ugh, oof. It's raining. It's raining, everybody. Yeah, I can jump. I can jump whenever the hell I want to. Can I jump, like, standing in place? Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay, so what's this? This is the headquarters. We got crazy technology in here and important stuff's going on. Pose some danger, but we still need to gather information in the name of science. In the name of science, damn it! Another one of these things. Oh, what's up with that? Just picked one of these up a minute or two ago. Is this like some sort of glitch? Is this like unfinished? That's kind of weird, huh? What's up with that? Okay. 
Can I get in here? Hmm. Oh, wait. What do we got here? Oh, it's locked. It appears to be locked. Good job, genius. What if I just push on it with my little hand? Out of the way. Okay, so there was, uh, there was, like, some stairs we could take to get out of here. It's probably where we really need to go. Scary. Did I talk to you? We here at the Academy have a great responsibility. With the foul sea gone, people rely on us to protect humanity. Yeah, I think I talked to that guy. Hmm. Can't jump over Feels like gate! Yes. Okay. Great place to rest. Yeah, that is a great place to rest. It's called a bench. Did you hear about the new head of the investigation? Okay, listen to this. Apparently, it's someone Alyssa's age. Hey there, girlfriends. Who's Alyssa? It's girl chat time. Is that all? That, that's all you got for me? Okay. Sometimes you have to back away from the non-playable characters and kind of spin around. Well, this is really smart too for a trainee. I bet someone tries to recruit her into their lab. The academy totally gives young people a chance to show what they can do. I really love it here. <laughs> is that all? Alyssa's cute and smart. She's going places. Well, so are we. Definitely! Let's prove ourselves, get promoted, and get some hot assistance! Oh, God, Lord. This is just bad. Alyssa's really smart, too, for a trainee. I bet someone tries to recruit her into their lab. The Academy totally gives you... Alright, I'm not interested. Girl talks over. It's time to move on. Kinda like how you can just jump at will. Maybe I'll play the entire game like this. Alright, so we're gonna go over here now. Can I hold the button down? Oh, I wish I could hold the button down. No, you have to you have to keep tapping it to jump again and again. Alright, let's go guys! Watch out for creatures deeper in the ruins. There's no guarantee security forces will reach you in time. We thought we were dealing with your average ruined city until they dug up that gigantic hand. Now they're saying that Cocoon might have had some technologically advanced culture way back in the past. Neither rain nor science can bring me down! According to the academics, there are two types of ruins. The normal ruins of old Cocoon, and the best of these brought up from Pulse. These ruins are the normal type. Just a place where people used to live hundreds of years ago. Oh goody. Multiple types of ruins. Why did you offer to stop the giant? Because we can't let Atlas shut this place down. We need to search the ruins. There might be other gates we can use. So what's that guy's story anyway? Why the hell is he even along in this adventure? All right. It's traveling time. We're going to check things out here in the Brescia ruins. 005 AF. Echoes of the past. Looks like I can't jump on things. Get out of the way, Moogle. Two potions. Good stuff. Hmm, let's try that ability again. Yeah, that's no good, huh? That's no good. Oh man, we got some battles here. Enemies! Kate Sith? Oh, let's go after this thing first. Let's kill Kate Sith, everybody. What do you guys think? I am down for that. I'm okay with that. This is the Final Fantasy 13 duh, battle theme. Yeah, it's got the old, you know, the Final Fantasy 13 style. Definitely. Oh, as soon as I heard that, too. Alright, we can dispatch these things pretty easily. And of course, my upgraded weapons probably help out. Yeah, Dave upgraded. Hookah! Good stuff. 
Ah, I got a couple of items here. Paradigm Pack Unlocked. Ooh. What? The monster turned into crystal. Servant of time, daughter of chaos, unto the world unseen, the untamed you guide. <laughs> what do you know? <coughs> it talks. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah. Guide the untamed? Your power over monsters, Koopo. Over monsters? Now that you mention it, Lightning had monsters fighting with her in battle. You can do the same, Koopo. Okay. This power, can you show me how it works? I want to learn how to protect myself. Might as well start now. Koopo? <laughs> Oh no! It's Pokermurn! It's Enchanted Arms! It's all those goddamn games all over again. You know, summoning monsters as your weapon in battle, good god! I got so much of that in Enchanted Arms with all those damn golems. It was too much, man. It was too much, but let's read this. You have obtained a monster crystal. New functions have been added to the party paradigms and the crystarium, and you can now access monsters in the main menu. Select Paradigm Pack within Party Paradigms and choose Monsters to add into your Paradigms. Monsters can also be developed in the Crystarium. Press the triangle and select Monsters to customize your monstrous allies. If you are not sure how to use these options, detailed information can be found in the Battle Primers. Learn about the Paradigm Pack mechanic? What do you think, guys? Skip it, Dave! Let's take the tutorial. Now it's time to get your monster allies ready for battle. To begin, select party paradigms using the X. Next, select paradigm pack. You can choose up to three monsters to add into your paradigms. There are three slots available at the bottom of the screen for this tutorial, however, let's start with a single monster and the leftmost slot. Use the controls to select the left slot and press X. Browse through your available monsters using the controls Monster attributes and traits are displayed in the upper right corner. Select the creature you wish to use and press the X button. Ooh, okay, more kind of Final Fantasy 13 traditional style, but we gotta go with Kate Sith. It's Kate Sith! What are those icons up there? He's got like one cat head. One cat head out of five. Late bloomer. Well grown, standard, thunderproof. Oh, they're giving us like the. Uh, the rundown of their stats. Oh, you can see their strengths there. This thing would probably be a better bet, but I'm going to go with Kate Sith. Your monster now appears in the leftmost slot. This creature is now considered to be a member of your team. And your existing paradigms are automatically updated according to its role. Press the O and check out what new paradigms have become available. Battle team change. With the addition of new paradigms, your strategic choices have also been expanded. Paradigms that include monsters can be customized and tuned into the normal manner. Press O when you have finished this setting your paradigm deck. Okay, now we move on to the Feral Link tutorial. Good lordy. Wow, what is this? Feral Link! Feral Link tutorial! Learn about the Feral Link tutorial, alright. Every monster ally can unleash a special attack otherwise known as a Feral Link ability. Okay, so this is like Limit Breaks, this is like summoning in Final Fantasy XIII, that's what this is right here. In order to unleash this ability, add a monster to your party and watch the Feral Link gauge fill as the battle progresses. Build chain attacks with your monster ally or use items on them to increase the recharge rate of the Feral Link gauge. I can go, okay. So I'm looking at the Feral Link. A couple of hits will do you. Oh, I'm synchronized. When the gauge is full, press the square button to unleash their Feral Link ability. Once unleashed, button prompts will appear. Follow them quickly and accurately to bring out the most of their capabilities. Press square and unleash their special attack. Kitty Clock! Oh my. Now what? Do I do or not? Uh, oh, wait. 
The effect of the special attack will depend on the synchronization rate shown in the top right corner of the screen. Mastering Feral Link abilities will prove advantageous in battle. Try out different monsters and their special attacks and form an unbeatable battle strategy. I don't recall even seeing the damage. I guess I did it. I guess I did good. Alright, so this Kate Sith thing is helping me out. I win the battle. Okie dokie. Updated my data log. Okay, so should I what? Check this out? Monsters. Oh? Monster name. Oh, can I change the name? Select name, random name. Random name? What, what would that do? Puss? Did you see that? Puss. Adrian. Wendy. Elena. Aqua. Winston. Fabio. What the hell? Poppy. Dwight. Stella. Look at these, man. Warlock. Malcolm. Nigel. Again. Earl. Earl. Jared. That is some interesting shit. Oh, you can reset it? Oh, okay. That's a good idea. This is interesting, I guess. And you can select name. Recommended. Wild Tame. Oh? Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. This is... This is a little too detailed, I think. Boo. Buttercup. Okay, that's... about wild? Just gives me, like, wild names, I guess? Okay. Tame? Apple. An apple is tame, isn't it? Recommended. Puss. Well, that's interesting. Infusion. Consume a monster crystal to infuse a monster with new abilities. Alright, this will be consumed. In Kate Sith, the level 1 will be enhanced. Monsters can have up to 10 passive abilities. Infuse the abilities of this monster? Yeah, okay, sure, go for it. Uh, this monster has no role abilities available for infusion. Continue. Okay. Alrighty. Does, doesn't really change the way they look. I don't know, I did some shit. Shit happened. That's good, right? Go back to the party paradigm here. So yeah, there's Kate Sith down there. And we have two other empty slots. Yeah, we don't have any more right now. We can only remove him. <laughs> Customize. Doesn't look like we get to pick, you know, what he can do in battle. It's just, you know, it says Kate Sith. Medic level one, yeah, I guess he just helps out healing. But you know, that could change shit, I don't know. This demo's pretty nice though, I, it's nice to learn these, you know, little things before you get the game itself. Alright, Crystarium here. What about Kate Sith's Crystarium? Ah, okay. Nope, nope, can't do it. Let's check out these characters, though, now. Ah. So we're adding to our bonus here. Up, oh, and they see not, not, not enough CP there. We can do it for all the other groups. All right, let's check him out. All right. Powering up just a little bit here. You know, just in case we could run into some sort of boss encounter. I'm not too sure. All right, let's use this stupid thing again. Come on, Mog. Come on, Mog! Okay, guys, we're still not done this demo, but I think I'm going to call it a wrap right here. I want to thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next part of the Final Fantasy 13 2 demo. I will see you guys next time. I am out.